The complex problems of aging are way more than one perspective. It can't be solved by nursing, by medicine, by engineering. You can't do that. But together, we can revolutionize older adult care. Over 20 years ago in 1996, we brought a, a big interdisciplinary group together at the University of Missouri, and we brainstormed about a new aging initiative on campus. And that resulted in the Aging in Place Project. When we allow people to age in their own homes or the settings of their choice, we're really giving them more autonomy, more decision-making capacity, and that um, improves their overall well-being, their overall quality of life. So we opened Tiger Place in 2004, but two years earlier, I went to the College of Engineering and said to the engineers, you know, I've been a nurse for 40 years, and it's the same problems today as we had 40 years ago. You know, we need new technological solutions to these old problems of aging. So we've tested a lot of different sensors over the years to try and figure out how to recognize early signs of health changes. And what we've centered on now is a depth sensor that captures 3D silhouettes of people as they move around their apartments. And we get gait information and fall detection from that. We also have a bed sensor that goes underneath the mattress. With that, we capture heart rate, respiration rate, uh, restlessness in bed, and also general sleep patterns. So we process the sensor data looking for patterns. And everybody's a little bit different, so we try to learn a pattern that's specific to an individual, and we look for changes in those patterns that might correlate to possible health changes. And in fact, what we learned with the sensors developed here is that we can predict two to three weeks, four weeks sometimes ahead of time that people are gonna have a health event. And you can intervene early, like you can catch a urinary tract infection early, you can catch pneumonia early, you can catch congestive heart failure early. And now we've learned with the sensor technology how to predict three weeks ahead of time with 85% accuracy that somebody is going to fall. So up to three weeks in advance, we can start those interventions to really help ensure that those falls don't happen. And as a result, that person is not ending up in the hospital, they're not ending up in the ER, they're not ending up in life-threatening circumstances. In 2012, a group came together within the School of Nursing to respond to a call from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid about nursing home residents. Uh, CMS, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, were interested in reducing hospitalizations of nursing home residents. So we brought in social work, we brought in geriatric medicine. That uh, became the Missouri MOQI quality initiative. One of my colleagues, Dr. Colleen Galambos, who used to work at the University of Missouri, but is now at the University of Wisconsin in Milwaukee, um, she really conceptualized the critical role that social work could play in the MOQI project. The unique role that social work plays is we're especially trained in working with the individual. So we focus on the person in their environment. What are all the unique factors that affect individual well-being and individual functioning. But it's not just about the social work lens. I mean, social workers bring the social, emotional, behavioral components of, of healthcare planning, but nurses bring the physical side of things. Our goal has been to develop a support system for each nursing home participating. And the lead in that is an advanced practice registered nurse. And that APRN works with the facility staff to improve their quality of care. But that APRN also does early illness detection. So coupling the MOQI PAC project with the sensor technology has the ability to reduce hospitalizations across the board. Our hospitalization rates have been massively reduced. And that gives you massive cost savings of millions of dollars. Well, we realized uh, pretty early on that if we were going to, to help more people, that it would have to be a commercial product. 
And so we reached out to find somebody who was interested in commercializing it. And really we wanted a kind of a pipeline to commercialization so that we could continue to do research. And so the changes that we're making to the sensor technology right now include gaining feedback from older adults as well as their family members so they can get those alerts straight to their cell phones. Over the past 10 to 15 years, this project has been phenomenal about including students in all of the work that we do. Sensor technology and different types of elder technology are a really fast-paced growing part of working with older adults. And so students at the University of Missouri School of Social Work can get involved on our teams and just really seeing this research in action and how it really affects the lives of actual people.